myself, Dr. Jagdish. I am working as consultant anesthetist in Bhagwan Mahavir Jain Hospital, uh, exclusively uh, doing vascular and neuroanesthesia. For, uh, I have been in this hospital for the past 10 years and I did my MBBS from uh, Kempegora Institute of Medical Sciences in Bangalore and I did my DNB from the same institute as uh, for DNB anesthesiology. So since then I have been associated with this hospital post my post-graduation and uh, I have been associated doing neuroanesthesia also since then. So there we have seen multiple different variety of cases that we regularly see, be it emergency, be it electives. So we c regularly see different kinds of patients coming from patients who have simple back pain to a complex neurosurgical problems also. So it depends on what kind of treatment which is being planned. And depending on that, we do make sure that the patient is uh, safely and comfortably anesthetized to get the best treatment from the surgical end and come back from anesthesia safely and return back home in the same way as much as possible. So we usually intend to make sure the patient is in the right state of physic and mind, be it from the pre-operative period to in the intraoperative period and even to the post-operative period. So this is a complete encompassment of the events which usually takes place. And this becomes more important to have this continuity. We need to see how the patient is preoperatively uh, fit and fine. If there is any alterations, we need to make sure that the patient is settled well in case of an elective. Whereas in case of an emergency, we have no much choice because most of the time an emergency neurosurgery is going to be a life-saving rather than you know any benefit more than that. So we do have to discuss with the patient relatives in such situations regarding what risks that they carry and what is the actual benefit that they get if by operating this particular patient. Because we need to give them hope. They come here without you know having lost hope in a sudden a situation where which they have never seen in their lifetime. It's a very common thing for us to see, but for a common man, it's a very rare thing. It would not have happened even in their near and dear ones. So they have lost their mind by the time they actually come to the hospital. We need to give them hope, first of all. So along with that, keeping them in the loop, be it from that time, taking them into the operating theater, providing them safe uh, surroundings, be it with respect to monitoring, be it with respect to providing them adequate post-operative care so that they come out to the well possible extent that they can. In every situation is quite different. It's not that each patient is the same, each patient is unique. Each one of us are a complex uh, technical system. You know, each, each one is a complex technical system and brain is even more a complex technical system. So. We need to know on a day and today basis as to how to handle them, how to keep them in a safe zone so that they can get back to their life, to the community at the earliest and in a very, uh, to a certain extent, uh, in a place where they can probably put themselves to back to work and back to the society.